Hello and welcome back to Lord Fett Gaming Plays Baldur's Gate 3. I'm your host Lord Fett and in this Baldur's Gate 3 PC walkthrough slash let's play video we'll go ahead and do the entire Toll House Basement Vault and solve it. As always like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Dungeons & Dragons video games, builds, walkthroughs, and guides just like this. Now in the last video uh, we ended uh, the uh, day we met a new person. Unfortunately, she gave Will a new look. We also did complete one part of Carlac's companion quest. You know what? Let's not waste any more time. First thing we're going to do is search the area before we go inside the basement. Yeah, I did forget to search the, uh, I should say, base area. I also found another thing. If you put water on acid, acid goes bye-bye. Simple as that. You can walk on it. Also, uh, water gets rid of fire. Uh, bad thing about water is uh, there's a water surface. You could uh, use electric spells or electric bolts or, or electric arrows. Yeah, anybody steps on it, they take damage. You, you and your party members step on it, they take uh, damage. Yeah, so uh, be careful on uh, your environment. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and loot everything up in, in sight. Seriously. Yeah, I didn't do it when I uh, killed these paladins. Now with a full rest, I'm all good and uh, definitely ready to uh, go. We're going to start day four off by uh, getting some loot. Oh, wow, there's a nice uh, book. Let's look at that for a few seconds. Okay, this just tells you uh, history about the not your the duty, paladins, and such like that. Oh, wow, there's a soul coin. I do not still know what that is for. Okay, let's uh, get off the uh, boxes. Yeah, it's a little bit funky at times sometimes when that happens. There, we're off the boxes. As compared to uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, this is like a three like a 3D environment. Uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 had like uh, a 3D-like environment, but still. It's good though. I mean, uh, all three games are uh, very uh, good. Especially 2 and it's, uh, it's the best so far still. Let's uh, go ahead and grab more of this. And there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. We're not getting rot rotting food. Nope. That's bad. We'll grab that too. Oh, wow, I am getting a lot of loot. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to start evenly distribute the few food out so this way it doesn't weigh me uh, down. Okay, short bow is nice. We'll take all that. We'll see what else we need to check. Okay, let me uh, test the uh, bedroll theory. I know uh, Divinity Original Sin uh, 1 and 2, you rest on a bedroll, you get your hit points regen. But because it's done in Dragons, no, they uh, took that out. Well, you we can't do that in Dungeons & Dragons anyways, unless uh, they put special rules into it. We'll grab all this. Uh, burlap sack. Nothing there. Still, uh, loot this place up. I mean, you could sell some items. That uh, little, I should say, a little bit of these items being sold helps. Especially when you start a new day out by uh, going to some certain merchants that just sell everything. Just pawn everything off. Let's uh, do that. And uh, there we uh, go. Looks all uh, good. So our uh, next stop is uh, after I'm done looting out uh, this padded armor and the light crossbow, we're going to get in the uh, basement. Oh yeah, I got to get these sacks too uh, looted up. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, let's. Uh, like I said before, uh, uh, when you first start playing out, loot everything in sight. Seriously, that's like easy tip for me. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and loot the uh, second floor. Uh, I forgot there's a second floor. First floor is done. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, sweep this area. This should be it here. So as you may never know, you might find something. Oh, a nice pair. I'm getting a lot of food. Now, if it would have been the uh, early access uh, when uh, food was not camping supplies, instead it actually heals you. Oh, I would have been rolling in food so badly. If I remember correctly, uh, this wasn't there. The house. Oh man, imagine the food. Yeah, I went through the actual uh, early access where food was healing with a fighter. Uh, I think I had like Shout Heart. Will and of course uh, Gale for the most part. And let me uh, tell you, that was fun that uh, time. It took about three or four days to complete since uh, there's, they didn't add uh, much until uh, later. Oh, and the stuff they add now, I'm playing the uh, final release. It is really good. Seriously, it's so good. Okay, uh, we're uh, done. We're going to get down, jump down. We're going to get into the cellar and start looting the uh, basement. Welcome to the Toll House Basement Starting Room. This is the uh, first room you start out in. And yeah, I'm wait things are weighing me down. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. When you're encumbered, uh, some of your actions get lowered. 
and such. So uh, good idea, even if you're at the strongest member of your party, to uh, make sure you're under uh, that. Otherwise, it'll affect you badly. Yeah, it's all this uh, food and such uh, there. I'm going to have to start using uh, the uh, storage chest in the uh, camp where I get the DLC items of my uh, personal storage. Yeah, let's go ahead and do Shadow Heart. She's the uh, second best party member with the strength. Uh, next time I level up, it'll probably be level 8. I'm going to get two points in the strength, definitely. I don't think there's anything else uh, good uh, unless uh, something uh, just points out, but still. I'm going to start raising that like crazy. Yeah, uh, strength is total. I should say uh, ability scores are totally different. Uh, and uh, I think it's uh, this game, uh, you have a choice here. Uh, get your uh, two stats up, one of each, every uh, level is a four, or you get a feat. I had to take the feat for four because uh, that great weapon on one is really nice. Seriously. Okay, dead toll collector. What's on there? Uh, toll ledger. I am curious what that says. Okay, it just tells me details of the toll and such. Uh, rolled. Okay, it just says they've been leaving. So it looks like uh, they left and then somebody, of course, uh, took over and about to leave. Yeah, I'm thinking those paladins uh, start butchering people. Which is not good, or I say the false paladins. Still, that was not really good at all. And yeah, they lied. They said, oh, there's a whole bunch of bodies here. Only count one so far. Yeah, good thing I did kill him off two videos ago. Well worth it. Yeah, I'm starting to give me shower heart some uh, stuff. All right, we're almost uh, done. We're going to go ahead and uh, loot that. And there, we'll get the trident. And uh, yeah, there you go. And one more. And yeah, we'll get some food too. All right, this room's all looted up. So um, what's going to happen next is if your perception's high or uh, good or you have more dexterity, well, what happens is uh, you'll uh, be able to uh, detect some traps. If not, you know what they look like. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now. So in this room, uh, there are four, I should say, is uh, grates. You need to cover them like you did in the uh, overgrown ruins in the sarcophagus room, the big one. Yeah, instead of six, it's four. So grab either any bosses or vases or even uh, crates. I prefer the wooden crates since they have more of a... Uh, I should say covering so cover that you need to do that four times in each of the uh, rooms otherwise when you trigger the trap yeah nasty poison uh, liquid comes out of it barrels will work uh, as uh, well too I have shower heart doing because because she has the best dexterity in the uh, party believe it or not I could have had the rogue in the party however I wanted to uh, you know make sure uh, if there's any uh, types of checks yeah I don't want to be cruel and uh, the rogue in our party is seriously uh, cruel. Yeah, a bit more either uh, neutral or chaotic evil. Something like that, I'm guessing. But he's a good rogue, though. I mean, seriously, he's a fun rogue to uh, have in the uh, party. Okay, uh, Burl um, Hole. Looks like uh, a smaller race could possibly fit under there. Hopefully we'll find out where it's at. Like, that's probably one way to get in, in if you're like a halfling or something. Then again, you, you will have to uh, still content with the uh, traps. Oh, wow, there is a lot of rotting food, so that's not good. Yeah, rotten tomatoes and such. Okay, rags, I'm going to take that because that's just one uh, gold, and that's good. Just keep on selling that stuff. Hats, too. Yeah, I'm starting out, so that's why I'm uh, doing it. Loot everything in sight. Gladiator sandals. Okay, wish I could wear them, but no, it looks like you cannot. Uh, that would be real fun, though. Let's uh, check this out. Uh, this one too. Nothing there. And as soon as we're finished, we're going to go into the next room. That'll be uh, Total House Basement Trap Room 2. It's exactly the same as a 4. So we got 4 covered. So in case we trigger the trap, nothing will happen. Good news is there's no fire trap. So don't panic. Uh, it'll say perception fail. However, I see the grates right up ahead. My uh, eye perception is much more better than uh, Shadow Hearts. <laughs> there you go. We covered it. I will take care of that business. Let's see here. Let's, let's check that out. Nope. I'm going to go ahead and move this around so uh, this way I get the other ones. Let's check out the vase. Yeah, she is all of a sudden failing her perception checks. Yeah, karmatic dice for the uh, loss. But still, I'm going to let the rules play. I'm going to let that go. Because it's random. That's what Dungeons & Dragons is all about. It's randomness. Hopefully you get a good roll. Sometimes you don't. 
You just gotta roll with it. Yeah, like the three ogres I had to fight. I was hoping I, uh, you know, uh, get them to help me for something, but oh well. I'm gonna have a tougher road ahead of me later on because I don't have their help, but that's all right. Let's loot that up, and uh, there we go. Let's get the uh, basket. Oh, wow, that looks very uh, good. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there, too. Okay, there's a death. There's two more uh, grates we got to cover. Yep, see, it's a trap. I'm on my cover that. There's one left, and that should do it. All right, more padded armor. That's cheap armor to sell. Let's uh, go get this, too. Let's check the books. Yeah, it's a habit I have ever since, uh, I should say, Bar's Gate 1 and 2, is if you look at bookcases... As long as uh, you're not like an abandoned house or something like that, that's uh, fine. You won't get any, uh, I should say, it's a reputation drop. Neverwinter Nights, uh, unless it's uh, marked, yeah, th yeah. there's uh, certain modules. If you uh, loot something, then you shift it more uh, chaotic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain about the uh, throne in a uh, bit. But if you uh, see on now, you hear a click. It's a puzzle. A really good puzzle. In fact, it's a simple one. Oh yeah, I was supposed to grab the. I'm gonna grab this crate instead. Let's uh, move that over. Yeah, make sure you uh, the the two rooms again. Once again, cover them all. So uh, this way, you trigger the uh, vault room trap. Yeah, you'll uh, see in a bit. Uh, instead of like uh, I should say eight uh, crates will I should, no eight uh, vents will uh, pour that poisonous ooze out. Instead, only uh, two, which is the uh, last two is a joke. Anyway, so I'm just going to make sure I finish looting up before I uh, go. Let's uh, see here. That's water. That's when we're going to need more of that. So I don't have to waste Shadow Heart's uh, spell slots. Yeah. She accidentally sat on the uh, throne. Yeah, those uh, stone uh, seats, they're the key to open up that uh, vault room. So simple. Even a K-Man can do it. Actually, even a, a, a goblin can do it. Let's, let's go ahead and loot that up. Okay, that is uh, good. I'm going to double check before I actually uh, do uh, start the, I should say, definitely the process of opening the door up. Let's see. Okay, that room's going ahead. Oh, wow, there's a lot of uh, basic items and a great, a great X plus one. I spent money on that. <laughs> uh, less than a day. Yeah, don't spend any money on shops for Carlac until you actually uh, come in this room and get her a nice new weapon. You save some money. I'm just checking anything else before I go on. Oh, wow, okay, that's the leadership of the uh, Centarium. Oh, okay, that's interesting uh, history about them. Uh, my history about them, uh, <laughs> for the most part, was exception Neverwinter, pretty uh, bad. Well, except for the two uh, Zents you uh, get in Baldur's Gate 1, but you meet one of them in Baldur's Gate 2. whole thing is really uh, funny with them in Baldur's Gate 2, the uh, one that survived. But still, let's go ahead and do the puzzle. Okay, first thing you need to do is, is have total three party members. So we're going to have two to sit on the throne. So I'm going to have my paladin sit on this uh, stone uh, throne. And then you're going to have the uh, other character, which is Gale, sit on the other one. So those two must sit on it at all times until you're done with the room. And once you do that, there you go. Room is open, but be careful. There are traps in the room. You'll uh, definitely see. Yeah, see, I accidentally triggered it. So now I have to uh, make sure I... Uh, disarm this otherwise this thing will keep on uh, going and we have to definitely for the second part is uh, cover up those uh, grates so let's see if I could definitely do it come on you can do it shadow heart all right that's a one shot roll deal that's 19 plus because our uh, dex is, uh, is really up there plus one okay that's this arm so uh, next part is we're gonna grab a vase and we're gonna toss it over yep because I did that room is uh, clear for that I'm not going to touch the uh, chest at all. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and toss the second one. If I could think I see it there. Yep. Uh, that should definitely do it. I'm going to have to uh, do it this way first. Get in closer. Hopefully, I don't get poisoned and toss it there. There you go. Now the room is totally clear to loot up. 200 pieces of gold. Wow. That is uh, pretty uh, good. Yeah, I know. I'm starting out, but you see 200 in a chest. You're like, oh, my goodness. This is good. Yeah, seriously. It is really good when you start out like that. Uh, later on, it's like chump change because you're getting like in thousands and such. And there's a great axe plus one. Yep, that's a nice weapon to sell. Or I'll give the gal, I'll probably sell it. I have plenty of items to give the gal, definitely. Let's read this. Okay, those are good inserts. 
uh, people getting taxed and such. Traveler's Chest. Two gems. That is uh, pretty uh, good there. Let's grab that. Make sure you loot this entire room up before you leave because uh, after that, you're really not going to come back anymore. Let's be uh, blunt about it. I mean, you just loot everything up. You're done. There's no reason. I don't think there's any quests and such will uh, lure you back here. Oh, wow. 27 gold. Okay. Gloves of Heroism. Uh, when you use your uh, channel oath spells, you gain heroism. It's a nice buff, and this will also give you uh, strength saving uh, throws too. So, in other words, this is a paladin gloves. And my paladin is going to be uh, the one who uh, gets it and benefit from it fully. So, this is another good place to uh, go to if you're definitely a paladin. Uh, if not, I don't know if there's any paladin allies, but still, it's all good. Let's grab that. Let's grab the sh uh, shield. Let's grab the uh, quarter staff and the gold. Let's see what else we'll uh, get in this wooden trunk before we uh, exit. Uh, crossbow, I think that's it. Let's get out of here. Let's uh, leave uh, this entire toll house. We're completely done with it. So, first of all, make sure you get the person out of the vault there. Otherwise, you'll uh, trap the person. So, bad idea to trap said person. Uh, once you leave the seat, I'll say it again and again if I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't say it. So you leave the seat, vault closes. So make sure the person, uh, like I said, gets out first. Then uh, the two gets uh, off the seat. Reunite the party, and you're all set and uh, good to uh, go. Look like everything's good. So, yeah, I'm going to need to get those gloves from Shadow Heart and give it to my paladin. So when I uh, definitely use the sacred uh, buff, which uh, gives me a nice boost in DPS, that will uh, definitely uh, boost my damage. I'm going to save that for a rainy day or tougher foes yep sacred weapon and of course uh, that does a lot of damage too it's like a one through uh, 4d damage which is nice so let's see here Gale yeah he's all good hopefully I can fix this condition with magic items I have to give him so he eats them so far I gave him the bang gloves they're useless to me yeah it gives you slay hand plus one but there's better items out there so let's uh, explore this entire area Oh, intestines. Eek. That's good to sell, though. One or two gold. Uh, nothing there. Let's check the wooden crate. Oops, I moved it. <laughs> All right, some fresh uh, food. Let's check that out. Rib cage. Let's see what's there. Ooh, nothing. Uh, let's look. Ooh, sever lake. That's disgusting. Ew. Let's see here. Anything else? Oh, yeah, I'm using the uh, left alt button. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a burrow hole. So. That's the one way to get you in the, uh, I should say, uh, definitely the the toll house. Or if you're small or something like that. But me, nope. That's all right. Let's look real quick. We're going to check this uh, dead end. This should be the last part of this area. Before I go to that cave, I missed uh, when I was looking for Carlac. Waypoint discovered. Oh, good. And uh, bodies everywhere. Let's see who uh, discovers the hole. There we go. Uh, that should be number four so far, I think it is, to uh, dig up. There's five for a uh, Steam achievement, layer on a PlayStation 5 trophy, and an Xbox Series uh, achievement when it comes out on the consoles. Now we're going to go uh, to that cave. Let me uh, make sure this is a waypoint. Yes, it is. The Risen Road. Oh, I should have got that sooner, but that's all right. So uh, the cave should be down uh, this uh, path, I think it is, or up there. We'll figure it out. We get lost, we'll ask for uh, directions. Yep, that's right. We'll uh, definitely uh, do that. Uh, this cave, uh, let me explain. So I'm going to explain it now. This cave I'm about to go to uh, would uh, lead you to a Zents. Yeah, you would, uh, either they would attack you uh, there or uh, they would still ran away with the Knolls. I went the other way. It was a little bit tougher, but it was worth it. So uh, if you want to go through the cave, you have to get through traps and such. But watch out for a uh, boulder. On the other side, it leads you where the uh, Zents were. Now, if you're doing the uh, shipment uh, quest, yeah, I'll explain that in a bit. But still, it's up to you all want to go on that. Uh, you can use any uh, fire spells. I'm going to say is uh, Wizards Level 0 spells. The fire one is a great spell to, uh, of course, blow the door open. So let me uh, make a quick save. Uh, like I said before, if you're going to do the shipment quest, uh, do not uh, go in the cave and loot anything up. Because if you go in the cave, you start looting things up. Your reward will be null and void. So 
do not do that at all. If you want the on the very nice uh, range weapon reward for the uh, shipment quest for, from the Zents, then of course uh, definitely uh, don't loot the cave up. Just go see them. We'll be seeing them in the uh, next video. I'm going to be combining two things at once for uh, that. Still, uh, we're going to go uh, towards uh, a new area. Yeah, we're going to cover uh, this uh, area before I actually uh, decide to uh, start rescuing the uh, Druid. Uh, we're almost there. There's some uh, stuff. Let's keep on going this direction. Okay, it looks like this is like a gated area or say a wall with a, a big old door. We're going to stop here. Here's a recap for this video, everyone. So the uh, first thing I uh, did was I explored the toll, toll house, went back to it, got some loot, went inside the toll house basement, got past the traps, looted the vault up, which was very nice, which I'll sell all this stuff off screen. Uh, check out the cave briefly. Avoid it because I don't want to piss off the Zents. I want that reward. In the next Baldur's Gate 3 walkthrough video, we're going to check out that area, then of course, of course go to the uh, Zents hideout. This is it for my Baldur's Gate 3 walkthrough Toll House Basement Vault video. This is Lord Pent signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.